Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to tie into our harness using a Scots locked bowling. This is a version of a bowling knot which is inherently secured, which means it will not get undone by itself as you move around as you climb. So it's very safe and appropriate for climbing or other life critical applications. In the first part of the video, I will show you how to do it step by step. And then in the second part of the video, I will discuss a little bit uh, why this is a very good knot and uh, why this is a good option for you uh, to learn and use it. All right, let's get started. First of all, take your rope okay, and pass it through both tying points of your harness. One and two. Leave a little bit of tail. Then this is going to be the standing end, which is the part that goes towards your belayer. Okay? Take the standing end and form a nipping loop. The nipping loop will have the top part that goes towards you and the bottom part that goes towards your belayer. Then take the tail and pass it through the nipping loop from the bottom, like so. Then pass the tail around the standing end from the back, like so. And one more time, pass the tail through the nipping loop, but this time from the top, like this. Give it a little bit of shape so we can look at it. And what we have done, we have formed a simple bowling. Okay, now we need to lock it because otherwise this will uh, easily get undone by itself as you move around. So take the tail, pass it through the eye, okay, this is the eye of the knot, and pass it through the nipping loop from the top, in the middle of the other two strands, like so. And finally, pass it one more time through the collar of the knot, which is this part over here, from the bottom, right next to the standing end. Okay. Now, tighten it well. Always when you tie in, you need to tighten the knot. And let's check it. Okay. So you see that we have a nipping loop that contains three strands of the rope in the middle. If you turn it the other side, you will see also the nipping loop with three strands in the middle. Okay, there are three things uh, you should make sure of. So first of all, you need to have enough tail. Okay, um, anywhere between 10 to 20 centimeters is good. So I like to do it like this, this is perfect, okay? And then let's make sure that the knot is tightened so there's no empty space around here. And also make sure that the knot is not too far from your harness so the eye is not too large, okay? So check these three things. And here we have it, a Scots locked bowling. This knot has several good properties that makes it uh, ideal for rock climbing and in my opinion preferable to the figure 8 which is the most common knot um, used by climbers for tying in into the harness. Um, first of all, this knot will not jam when under heavy load. So if you take a fall, like a big lead fall or a repeated sequence of falls, the figure eight will jam, so it will become very uh, welded and difficult to untie. Whereas this knot will not. This knot will uh, be super easy to untie. You just pop the collar up, okay? And, and the whole knot will get undone very easily. This is a very important property, not just for convenience, because, okay, if you are at the gym or at a crag with just sport climbing one pitch and you are at the floor uh, and you are surrounded by your friends and you just take a few more minutes to untie the knot, it's not a big deal. But imagine if you're climbing multi-pitch and you are hanging at the top of a, of a cliff 
and you need to untie yourself and the knot is welded, that's not pleasant, okay? So this is why it's very good to know this knot so that you can uh, make sure that you will not get stuck with a knot that does not untie easily. Second property, this knot is post-eye tieable, which means that you can tie the complete knot after you create the eye, which is uh, the, what you do when you pass it through your harness. Whereas the figure eight, you need to pre-tie an eight, then you pass it through your harness and then you complete the knot. Why this is an advantage? Well, with the figure eight, it happens it happened to me a few times and it happened to my friends that you forget to untie the second part, or which was the first part of the knot, after you finish climbing, then you pull the rope and that eight gets stuck on top of the rock. And again, it, this can be either a mild annoyance or sometimes it could be dangerous to have um, the, ro the, the rope stuck on the mountain, okay? Whereas this knot, when you, un when you undo it, there you go, the rope is completely clean, okay? So that's the property of being post-eye tieable. Property number three, uh, this knot has a very small profile. So it's small and it will not get in your way when you clip. This is an, an important property. If you have a bulky knot um, and then you reach for a clip, um, it, it may be on your way. It can go inside the carabiner, it can, it can be annoying. Um, and this is also why it's important to keep your knot as close to the, to the harness as possible. Okay, In this way, it will not be on your way. Property number four, compared to the figure eight, uh, this bowling requires less rope, so a shorter length of rope to be tied, which is good. So you can use the, the overall length of your rope more efficiently. And also, since the part of the rope that gets damaged the most is the part uh, towards the end of it, which is the part closer to the knot, if you use less of it, then you will be able to uh, periodically cut the part that is more damaged and still have a useful uh, length of rope left for climbing. So overall, your rope will last longer. And uh, last but not least, this knot is very simple and quick and easy to tie. Some people believe that bowlings are difficult to check. Uh, that's really not true. Uh, it's very, uh, the fact that this knot is asymmetrical uh, makes it very easy to check and it makes it very easy to see when something is wrong. In fact, try it as an exercise. Try to uh, tie it wrongly and you will see that it will look completely odd and it will fall apart very easily. So uh, overall, I think this is a great knot. Um, then you will decide for yourself whether you want to use it or not, but I think it's worthwhile learning it, okay? And also, it's worthwhile learning it so that if you are belaying somebody else who is using it, uh, you, you know how to check it. If you want to learn more about the bowlings, check out the links below. Uh, in particular, there is a very good resource on the Professional Association of Climbing Instructors of Australia. Um, there is an excellent paper written by Mark Gommers, uh, which analyzes in detail the structures of uh, bowlings and identifies several variations of bowlings that are um, inherently secured and safe for climbing and other life-critical applications. The one we learned today, the Scott's Locked Bowling, is one of those variations. Overall, when you are climbing, please stay safe and have fun. See you next time. Bye.